Hello guys, once again, how are you? Fine, thank you. I'm very good. Okay. Senzo may you are case. Alright. Senzo. Case of S versus Muchinindu. 2002 SACR. Okay. Senzo may you are case. Alright. Senzo may you are case. This is now a crisis. It's a mess now. Total mess. You know, in my previous video, I said something and I've been vindicated. Actually, I predicted that the judge, the judge, Justice Rata Mokotrin, will actually, um, he will rule in favor of the state to allow the confessions okay to be admitted into the case into the case or actually the state would win the trial within the trial i said like that in my previous video and it came out exactly that you see it came out exactly that so this time around what i'm saying here is that the 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 confessions have been read we have heard the confessions. But I was saying in that video that, you know what, these confessions, the, the defense, should not be scared of the confessions because they may make the, the case even more tough for the state when the confessions are made or the, when the confessions are admitted to the case. So you see, the defense was so hectic, was so panicking, you know, fighting off the, the confessions that the confessions should not be made public or should not be admitted into the case. But in that video, I said they stay, the defense, okay, the defense lawyers should not panic. Perhaps these confessions okay, may become their big defense. You understand? I said like that in my previous video. Because they may create some confusion, you see. I said like that in my previous video. And that is exactly the case. See, look at the confessions now what is happening. There are two confessions that have been read so far. Both of the confessions are talking about the same scene, but different suspects, you see. Uh, Sibia looks like he was not directly involved in the scene because from the narrations from the statements that he gave right it's like he was only escorting those guys the killers and in this case there are only two and there are three together with sibia so the, his confessions there are only three suspects out of the three suspects he is the only one those other two they are not known where they are of course he said they were arrested and the other one was killed you see he's dead the the one who put the trigger or the one who killed senzo meiwa is not there on the list of the suspects that are currently answering the case that's what this the the confession is saying so this is a total confusion because people were saying no the suspects that killed senzo Mayu are here these five five suspects but sibia who is suspect number one is saying that no in in his confession that confession the confession that he made to um to kenno rapadu okay he said he, he said that he received a call around September. He received in 2014. He received a call from a guy by the name Marco Buteres, and his brother by the name Makimba Buteres. They were two together. Then they explained to him that they have a job to do or an assignment, where they were told to assassinate or to kill Senzo Meiwa, all right? Now they got that contract and they charged, all right? He was there. Then they say that on the day, but but he said Saturday. 
they called him again. That was Saturday was 25, which is 25, was 25 October 2014. Okay, they called him again and came and picked him to do the job. Okay. So there is confusion because this guy, in his confession, he's talking about Marco hmm, Buterezi and Makimba Buterezi. And he says that the gun that was used to kill Senzo Meiwa was sold to another guy in KwaZulu-Natal. And he mentioned the name of the guy who bought that gun. So it could be that this gun was, is not the one that was made, uh, tested by the police or the, for, the, for, the forensic, the, the, what do you call the, the ballistic department. It could be that it's not that one. <laughs> so it's a confusion, all right? So it is very, 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 very big confusion, but what is coming up is that he, him, he was not in the house. He didn't. He was not the one who went into the house because he said, he he said that he refused to go into the house, right? But he told his friends that he would be outside guarding them. So these two guys charged hundred thousand from Kelly Kumaro doing the job, and the way he has explained it, he has made it so simple, okay? That how it happened. That the whole plan was so simple, not so complicated. So, but and and they, and and he said, when they went into the house, okay, when they went into the house, when they went into the house, they found three people. They found Kelly Kumaro, Kelly Kumaro, and uh, his, his sister, her sister. And uh, no. Senzo Meiwa. So, the, during the, that confession, the police asked him, How did you know? Because you, you said, did not go into the house. And he said that those two guys told me the whole story and said they did not take anything from the house. You see? This is a crisis. This is. <laughs> See, the firearm belonged to a guy called Marco, and it was with Marco. And he's the one who went into the house, and he's the one who killed Senzo. It was a plan. They made a plan to pretend like it was a robbery, but their plan was to kill Senzo. There you are. And they did it as they did it. And he says, Kerry Kumar wanted money from Senzo Meiwa. Okay? But yet, he had to pay those guys 100,000. Okay? To kill Senzo. See? Because said they went to the Inyanga for cleaning. But when they went there, Marco explained the whole story. He was the, the main actor. Marco was the main actor. Marco Buteres. And he's saying that Marco Buteres was the one who was killed in Davido. So, they were originally arrested, both of them, for other crimes. So, and the police did not know that they were the ones who were, who were actually who killed Senzo. But at a later stage, when they were arrested again, when they were arrested again, so at Davidon for another crime, okay, he resisted the, the arrest and was killed. His friend Makimba was arrested in KwaZulu Natal. So his, the story about this guy is not well known about Makimba so far. But he was arrested in KwaZulu Natal and he ended there. So, which means that here in the jail, current, in the current case, the only suspect who killed Senzo Meiwa, who participated in the killing of Senzo Meiwa, the only suspect is him, since Sibia. Okay. The rest are free. You see? This is according to the, to the confession of Sibia, suspect number one. 
muzi wa kuruela muzi wa kakuruela sibia that's the according to him he is the only suspect the real suspect in that case the rest are not connected to that case that's what it means the people who did that job die uh, one was arrested for another case in kwazulu natal the second one died the second one or the second one was the one who shot Kenzo Mayua and was killed by the police in another incident. It's very interesting. So let's go back to um, He's saying that there were only three suspects. Three of them. Now this is Ntanzi's confession, which is totally different from Sibia. But this Ntanzi is mentioning of Sunday. Sibia was mentioning of Saturday. So there is a need really to try to reconcile the two versions because these versions they don't make sense. They are so confusing. So there is need there is a need to reconcile them so that the case can make sense. Otherwise, in in this case, in this case, it looks like there were two teams, there were two instances that happened for the same matter. So we, there is a need for, we, we don't understand how these two can be reconciled. So it just, it just um, vindicates what I said before. That, you know, in this case, like um, Advocate Zul um, Gomezul already asked that the first one is talking about Saturday and another one is talking about Sunday. He asked this question, okay? And here we are heard about there were three people in the house and we heard that they have not taken they did not take in anything from the house so you see the lawyers now are getting more get, getting more energy now to see that the two phase versions they don't make they don't look they don't they, they would not be helpful for the state they would not be helpful they would make it more more confusing for the state but we are still watching to, we are expecting to see, to hear more confessions because I think there would be maybe three or four confessions that were recorded. We are not sure about it, but they should be. So we st we will we'll still be waiting to see what kind of uh, technique will be used by the state to reconcile the two versions. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Subscribe to my channel and follow me and listen.